right, so just a quick video to demonstrate uh, the capability of our Smart Reflect transparent sensors. So nice and easy detection of transparent targets like uh, clear bottles, clear jars, film, or any food type product in clear packaging. So here is the O200 SBT. So a miniaturized sensor with QTeach on the back to be able to teach the background or consistent part of the machine that you wish to use as your reflector rather than using a standard reflector. And here we have the O300 SPT. So slightly larger size block sensor with QTG area here on the back of the sensor. So the O200 and the O300 SPT versions of the Smart Reflect transparent technology. Okay, so all you do to uh, teach the O200 its consistent background, the uh, reflector, so to speak, is introduce a ferromagnetic tool at the back of the sensor, the QTeach area, like so, one, two, and then tap it again, and that is now set. And you can see the detection there. So that's now ready to go. So now onto the O300, very similar to the O200 teaching procedure. All you do is uh, to teach the background or the reflect reflector in this case, the QT cherry on the back of the sensor here is illuminated in blue. Press and hold for two seconds. And then tap again. And that's now taught. So our constant part of the machine, the back of the machine, what we're intending to use our reflector is now our reflector. And you can see that turn on and off. Okay, so now that we've taught our uh, consistent background in this case for both sensors, just to confirm the O200 is set away 180 mil from the taught background and the O300 SPT is taught 300 mil away from the taught background. So now's the test proof, proof of the pudding, so to speak. And uh, we introduced different targets, transparent targets, different levels of transparency. So you can see I've got this Perspex clear lid here. And you can see if I introduce in front of the O200 here, you'll see the LED go on and off. So that works very well, all the way to the background, all the way to the front edge of the sensor, there, on and off. Very stable result there. Let's do the same with the O300. It's a very clear output there. If I use something like a uh, poly bag, so with the O200, again, nice, stable result there. And then with the O300, very consistent result there. Then jars uh, and other transparent type vessel type products. So for the O200, nice clear output there. And for the O300, And then for the trickiest test of all, single film. So the 
O200 first. Keep it nice and taut, nice consistent output there. And then for the O300, let's try the same. So you see, nice consistent switch if I move this reflector out of the way. So that's one single thin clear film.